outside of uh, Avebury, uh, just below Windmill Hill. Mm -hmm. And somebody has carried out a computer analysis of this because we had an aerial shot right over the top of the formation. And if you take the first circles coming off of the center one, the first three on each leg, it forms an equilateral triangle. You move to the next one, it forms an equilateral triangle. So as you move out, right the way mm. down the arms, circle at a time, you get equilateral triangles permanently all the way through it. So I've been told. I haven't oh, checked it out. They're, so. they're analyzing them in all sorts of ways, aren't they? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and of course, with farmers' uh -huh. cooperation, they can do an awful lot more. Um, that was really sort of wonderful. Thank you very much. Okay, um, there's going to be another clip, then, and this clip is the one where you were in the crop circle. Mm -hmm. right? And I kind of, if you don't mind, I'd like to talk to that so I can yes, sort of uh -huh. explain some things. Mm -hmm. um, the amber ball that Eilis referred to and the clip she referred to um, is kind of what I want to talk about in the next clip. So if we could, you know, if we could do that. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, I had taken this trip and I ended up in Nashville, Tennessee, and Eilis had emailed me and um, told me to go back to where I had just left from that they had massive crop circles and we estimated them to be like 110 at the time. Now, now this is a man named Steve Perkable and all the soil that I took with me and all the samples was eventually, um, was eventually looked at by Dr. Calada uh, that was also in the NBC special and here you see the you see the same people that do the UFOs also work with the crop circles. This is that skip um, that I take credit for. In the amber balls and the hit and skip, that's what that looked like. And um, of course, I didn't realize that, but I took soils from there and uh, carried it with me for two months, not realizing that it was a little, well, there was something there that sort of made my hair fall out. And yes. I'm, I'm gonna show you that. And um, like I said, of course I didn't realize that. And uh, I stayed in there too long. Ten, ten minutes is the most. And but when you walk in there, you cannot comprehend time. That's the whole thing. And of course, it was thunder and lightning, and we didn't realize how long we had been in there. So something nipped me. And this is me showing. Um, yeah, bringing attention to the difference in the soil where that skip occurred. And sure enough, there was those uh, traces from the three balls. And I would like for the friends to notice my hair, please. Um, my hair looks just fine, okay? And then within a three weeks time, uh, things just, you see here was the sun and lightning. You see, I have a lot of hair. I had a lot of hair. Yes, I you was, did. I was full head really, of hair there. Yeah, I was really <laughs> proud of that. And then within just three weeks, um, most of my hair had fallen out. And so we're still monitoring to see why after it came back, it came in, what was it? Burgundy. Yeah, burgundy. Mm -hmm. Burgundy, yeah. all my gray was gone. <laughs> and here in, in the clip there, it's just basically what Eilis explained. Of course, I could not have explained it. With the well bent stalks and the mm -hmm. blown uh, The blown, no, this is another field here that was uh, almost a mile long. And this is a woman named Elena. Um, uh, Steve Perker, excuse me, Steve Perkable's friend, and they took me all over. And uh, we had a really, really nice time in Illinois. And uh, they couldn't understand why eventually my hair fell out either. And um, so I guess that's why I'm so excited to do this show today, because I really want to do some with my hair now. Yeah. <laughs> now you go, well, you have you have more hair than you did have after this. Yeah, it took it grew almost, back in. Yeah. Almost two years before it finally grew in. Um, you were in there an hour and something, weren't you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a long time. Yeah. You see, there's the lightning. We decided to bag it because <laughs> Steve was a little upset about the lightning. There, there was a man on the on the internet. He had stopped in our in our chat room, and um, he was all like, you know, he kind of objected to us talking about UFOs and things like that, and he said they were all from the devil. So accidentally, I had emailed him all the crop circle photos I had, and the next day he emailed, 
and he thanked me and he said what wonderful miracles we gave him. Now, if you watch this clip, this is on the Hopi Reservation, and watch, look at my hair. I hardly have any hair. A little bit bald was, on the top there. Yeah, yeah, that was the start <laughs> of the end. And um, so finally, two years later, it's coming in, not gray. My doctor is in awe of it. And so the whole head is a, is a project. And, um, and this is what crop circles look on a three-dimensional, if you turn them into structures. Yeah, that's the for Parkable. Mm -hmm. Uh, what about the... Oh. Mm -hmm. Here's the cropper. Mm -hmm. Well, you yeah. took all your trips in. I took my trips in. Mm -hmm. And where are the, th these crop circles located in the United States? Some are in Utah, Oregon, Washington State. Um, they found some in Michigan. Mm. Um, uh, several of them, and I believe that Woodby Island had some sand circles last oh, year. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So. I don't know what we're going to do this year, I guess, mm -mm. as they... No, you feel like they will be here some more here in this year, though? Well, it's been a real pattern for them to reoccur where they were the year before. Mm -hmm. And um, I know of cases where people had requested a certain pattern, and it just actually occurred, you know? Oh, that's mm -hmm. fantastic. Mm -hmm. are, are you gonna, planning on taking another trip this year? Finances allowing right this minute, I don't have a clue. Um, but I guess mm -hmm. if universe tells me to get in that cropper and go, You'll you know. You'll do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did last year, four mm -hmm. tornadoes, one flood, a forest fire, I burned up my brakes. Ah. So. Oh, an adventure for sure, huh? Well, maybe we get real fortunate and get some in, um, in Chehalis, and we can just get in somebody's car and go. That'd be great, we'll take my my van down, minivan down, and go check them out. That'd be great. Just don't stay in there. You won't have any hair. No. <laughs> I don't know. I, mm -hmm. I don't want to lose my hair, but... Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not saying that's what happens to everybody. Mm -hmm. It's just we mm -hmm. have no other explanation else. That's right. You Too know. coincidental. Yeah. And they're mm -hmm. wonderful. They're just wonderful. The energy, you can comprehend time. Um, it raises the frequency, like Isla said, and mm -hmm. you're just never the same after that. Oh. Do you remember I was so ill? Mm -hmm. I you came were. out of the crop circles and I was well. Yes, because you were mm -hmm. concerned about even going into a wheelchair the next year. Exactly. Uh -huh. So I'm not really sure what all they're doing, but they've certainly been a blessing for me. So now tell me, Barbara, did you enjoy being my hostess? I certainly did. I'm not yeah. a good guest. I'm running off with your well, That's okay. That's, that's all right. <coughs> Excuse me. You let me do that sometimes too, so. Yeah, we do that in private too. <laughs> no, yeah. I'm having a coughing spell. <coughs> Take a little drink of water. <laughs> we did that at Hoodie Hoodie Mansion, no? Well, yes, we did. <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you. Well, I, I was really happy to see that <clears throat> so many of the uh, scientists are getting into the crop circles and have dispelled this illusion that some people can just make these up, mm -hmm. you know, because they're so intricate and so <coughs> so fantastically made that there's no way that two old men can <laughs> get out there in those fields and make all these beautiful crop circles. Yeah, I understand. God, I'm doing one of mine. Using? Yes, you are. We have company or something. <laughs> and uh, it, it's just no way. And you know, it's when, when you get in there, you're just in a different time and space. And if you notice, I took my hair off. Yes, you did. So now you can all look at my hair here. <laughs> and it might be the only time I ever look like that because, frankly, I don't like it. You don't. You don't prefer it at all, mm -hmm. do you? Yeah. So maybe somebody can write in if they want more on the subject? Yes, oh, that would be really fascinating to try to look. You know, there's a lot of um, new information coming out about the crop circles, mm -hmm. and they've got some new hypotheses that they're mm -hmm. working on. And, um, so I think that's really a, a good idea. Mm -hmm. People are interested in it to write in and see. we'll see what we can do. Go to my web page. Um, yes, go to your web page. You can page. access everybody's, everybody's information, uh, information from there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I guess 
all that remains to be said is. Oh, are we, are we finished? Yeah, oh, I'm, I'm going to go on now. The whole, the whole okay, time well, just oh, gone. I guess Goodbye. it's time for us to...